All right, so what we want to look at now is we want to actually answer two different questions. <clears throat> one is, um, it's one of these questions about what is the unbalanced pay, uh, what is the unpaid balance after a set, a set of months, okay? And then after that, we're gonna ask the question of during this time period, how much interest did somebody pay, okay? Um, and so like, it's basically like, we already know how to go out and find how much interest was paid um, on the entire life of a loan, right? Now, what about if I like start halfway through the loan, right? Or a, a portion of uh, the way through the loan, how much interest is gonna end up being paid um, at that point in time, at that moment, all right? And so that's actually one of the things that we're gonna end up answering. So let's take a look. Let's say we have Adrian has taken a loan to buy a computer servers for their small businesses. They need to borrow $79,000 using a nine year small business loan. The loan has an interest rate of 6.2% compounded monthly and will make monthly payments of $956.29. Okay, what is the unpaid balance after 24 months? Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna think to ourselves, all right, what we already know how to find the principal on a, um, a loan that uh, where we know the monthly payments, we know its interest rates, okay, um, and we know how long it's gonna be, it's gonna take uh, for us to, to do that. Excuse me, how long the month, the, the, um, the loan is gonna last. And so here's our formula for that, okay? It's gonna end up being P equals, that's the principal, that's the thing we're looking for, D, that's your monthly payment, times one minus one plus R over 12, to the negative 12 T, and T is in terms of years, all divided by R over 12. And so what we need to do, the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what these values are. So one D, my monthly payment, is $956.29. R, my rate, is gonna equal 0 0.062. T, now T is gonna be a little bit different, okay? We're looking for the unpaid balance after 24 months. So 24 months is two years, okay? So our T in this case is actually gonna end up being nine minus two, which equals seven. So our T is gonna be seven because that's the remaining amount of time that we have on the balance. So let's go in and let's actually calculate this. We got P equals $956.29 times one minus one plus 0 0.062 divided by 12 to the negative 12 times seven divided by 0 0.062 divided by 12, okay? And I'll tell you what, just as a, a, a side note, um, I like to work from the inside out whenever I'm doing this kind of calculator thing. So I start out with first calculating this value right here, then raising it to the power of negative, uh, in this case, what, negative 84. Okay, so let's do that. So I go in, I do this inner, inner piece first, okay, and then I'm gonna raise it to the negative 84th power. And then I take one minus whatever that answer is, and then I'll multiply that then by 956.29, and finally then divide by 0 0.062 divided by 12. Essentially, I'm gonna do all that inside of my calculator. <coughs> and when I do, what I get is exactly what we have up here. I have 65,033.29. So that's gonna be my unpaid balance after 24 months. Trick there, right, is to get that 24 months is how long you've taken, nine was the original amount of time so nine minus two, that's gonna be seven. Now the next question that I have though, and is during this time period, how much interest did they pay? So they didn't pay all of the interest, right? They only paid a portion of it. And so we've gotta figure out like how much did they actually you know, pay, right? Okay, so we start out, we're gonna um, begin by figuring out what payments have they made so far, okay? So the payments made so far, so they made a monthly payment, of $956.29, and we're gonna multiply that by 24, the number of months that have actually, uh, that have taken place, 24 months, okay? So that's what's been paid already. So I've got uh, $22,949.76.
okay? Now, the next piece here is I need to figure out how much my loan balance have I actually paid off. So loan balance paid off. That's gonna end up being, well my original loan, we'll take a look, is $79,000. And we're gonna subtract from that what's remaining. Okay, 65,033.29. Okay, so loan amount minus the remaining, and that should tell you, you know, how much you still have to pay. Seems to make some sense. And so that's going to end up equaling 13,966.71 or $13,966.71. So now our interest paid is going to be, right? It's going to be the total payments so far. minus, right, the principal paid off so far. And so what that means is, is we're gonna end up getting $22,949.76, that's the total payments, minus the amount of principal, $13,966.71, and that'll give me $8,983.05. And that's the amount of interest that we paid, okay, so far. So, a couple things here. Let's just kind of go over this. Uh, what we did here first is we utilized that principal formula, right? And we just had to go in and subtract the amount of time that's actually taken place already to figure, figure out our remaining loan balance. Once we did that, then we could go in and answer the second question of during this time, time period, how much interest did they pay? We start out with the payments that are made, have been made so far, like how much money have I put in already? All right, and that's $22,949.76, right? By just multiplying by the amount of time. Then we look at the loan balance that was paid off. That's gonna be the loan amount minus, and that's the question the answer to part one, right? The unpaid balance after 20, 24 months. So that gives me how much of the loan balance I've actually paid off, $13,966.71. Then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna take the payments that I made so far, minus the amount of the loan remaining, and that'll give me $8,983.05, and that is in fact my answer. That's the amount of interest paid, right? What I have actually shelled out, how much I've cut into that loan, gives me the amount of interest paid. And so this actually ends the lesson.